1969, we landed on the moon. American lives were turned upside down. The future was here. Last year, astronauts tweeted from space. Your move, Neil Armstrong. You don't have to wait until the next day for the news anymore. You don't have to wait till the 8 o'clock news. You don't even have to wait for someone to write a story about it on the web. In 140 characters or less, you can instantly know that 33 Chilean miners are trapped, that there was a massive oil spill, or that Chad Ochocinco is wearing a white suit on a plane headed home from a football game. Twitter is just one example of how social networking sites have redefined the term social, and to think that the current generation of kids finds MySpace primitive. It has affected us from top to bottom. In 1960, televised elections helped the young and handsome John F. Kennedy win a presidential election. In the world of YouTube and Hulu, who has time to watch live TV anymore? In 2008, it was social media. President Obama has admitted to being addicted to his Blackberry, but he wasn't playing bubble breaker on it. He was networking. Obama's social media campaign was key to winning the 2008 election. He had three million donors online, and that presence helped him connect to target audiences, African Americans, Latinos, gay and lesbian groups, and of course, the youth. People are networking more, news is moving quicker, and the best news of all, a study by the National Literary Trust shows kids who blog, tweet, or use Facebook have higher literacy rates than those who don't. Social media is truly making us more informed and connected than any point in time. And like this very sentence, you can do it in 140 characters. Very good.